So guys, what a beauty day today, and uh, got a nice surprise out in the ocean here when I arrived today. Haven't been here in a few days, but just check this out. So anyway, today we're going to uh, work on the composting toilet. See if we can get that finished up. I brought some uh, more supplies for the roof and stuff, and I also have some paint. So all I did here was put a little bit of framing in up top. Now I'm just going to sheet that over and then I'm going to put some ice shield on it for waterproof. So this here is the paint that I'm going to uh, spray the outhouse with. It's uh, paint and primer, interior, exterior. And this was on sale at Canadian Tire, so I picked up like three or four cans. And we'll give it a go, but I'm not going to do it just yet. I'm going to wait till Nevaeh gets here because she wants to uh, help out with the painting, of course. But anyway, the family is coming down for supper. We're going to have another barbecue. While the weather is nice, might as well take advantage of all this time we have together, you know, while, while uh, you know, all this uh, pandemic is on the go. We're just trying to take advantage of it, you know. Uh, the wife is working from home, and my work has not started yet, and of course the kids are home from school, so. Uh, who knows, in, in a month or two, it could be, I could be anywhere on the island working and, and not get to see the kids, so I might as well take advantage of it now, right? All right, guys, Nevaeh's here now. Uh, family came down for, for supper. We had a barbecue again for supper. What the? <laughs> so I'm going to show Nevaeh how to spray here. She's got her mask on. This little metal band's got to go around your nose. Safety glasses. So it doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be colored right in thick like that. Just out like that and spray, okay? And you can start and stop it like that, but don't have it close like that and don't have it too far away. Yeah. So like that. And just back and forth like that, okay? Yeah. You're probably it's probably gonna drip a bit of paint on you and give her a shake every now and then, okay? Now they wanted to help out with the painting, of course. Come over this way, come over this way. Go right in here if you want. Which way is a bone, honey? Back that way? Okay, uh, maybe it is better to go that way. I never spray painted before. No, you're doing all right then. So you don't want it like, like that. You just want it like that. Huh? Yeah, just to blend in. There you go. You can do it well back there. Let's check out what happened overnight. The big berg broke up into pieces. Pretty cool.
I got a couple little hinges here, but they only come with little tiny screws. So I'm just going to nail these on. Hope for the best. Sure it'll be fine. So here it is as it stands right now, toilet paper, the shitter, new toilet seat on there of course, and lined with bags, sawdust in here, little scoop. So you do your business, you take a couple scoops of sawdust, throw in there. And then take some carpet fresh, sprinkling on top of the sawdust just to, uh, that's not necessary, but just to uh, keep it smelling nice in here, we'll say. But the sawdust should take care of that anyway. Hand sanitizer. And the view. That iceberg's all broken up, eh? So guys, that's pretty much it for the composting toilet. Uh, you know how it works is you just do your business in, in a bucket with sawdust and you put sawdust over top and you pretty much when it gets half full or whatever I'll take it and get rid of it but apparently it's actually good for composting after two years but um, you know that's not for me I don't think I'm going to be uh, growing vegetables in my own poop you know what I mean you know, if you guys if you guys do that, that's fine. Nothing, you know, nothing wrong with it. If it's safe after two years, that's fine. But uh, you know, I, I just don't feel feel comfortable doing that. So I'll just take it when it's uh, half full or so and uh, get rid of it. So I'm just gonna I'm also gonna use uh, carpet fresh in there. So every time uh, somebody uses the bathroom, throw some sawdust in there, cover it up, and sprinkle some carpet fresh in there just to keep it a little. A little uh, cleaner I, I think. I do have some ice shield to go on the roof there. I'm going to nail down on the roof and it's uh, adhesive as well but today it's just too windy to mess with it and it'll just be blowing all over the place while I'm up there. So what I did with the door was I just I just took the piece that I cut out, the piece of OSB that I cut out for the doorway. I took it home, I built a uh, frame around it using just 1x4 boards and uh, I just did that to strengthen it up, you know, so it wasn't flimsy. Used some dollar store hinges and just nailed it up and it's working fine. You know, I'm happy I didn't have to spend a ton of money to, uh, to get this project done, you know what I mean? The OSB is stuff I had left from, a, from an older project. And uh, some wood was uh, recycled. 
and uh, you know everything else was uh, given to me like the window was given to me uh, the buckets so it's all good uh, I just have to uh, put the ice shield on the roof and build a little step there it's a bit much a bit too much of a step there for Nevaeh right now so and I have to cover over uh, some nails inside that that, are, that have been bent over and stuff so uh, that's pretty much it. I'll keep you guys posted how it's working out and stuff. Uh, any changes I make or anything like that. Yeah, so thanks a lot for watching guys and we'll catch you on the next one.